Hi, I'm Dave Iker and welcome to the universe. Have you ever wanted to hold a piece of another world in your hands? You can by collecting meteorites. So turn on your mind and get ready for the real reality show. Meteorites are pieces of asteroids, the moon, or planets that fall into Earth's atmosphere, surviving to land on the ground. These space rocks hold clues to the formation of the solar system and the ancient histories of asteroids and planets. More than 38,000 meteorite finds have been documented, and greater than 1,100 meteorite falls have been witnessed. Tiny micrometeorites fall all the time, and you no doubt have some in the gutters of your house. So where do meteorites come from? Three main classes are tied to their origins. The most common type, stony meteorites, resemble stones and represent the outer crust or mantle of an asteroid. Less common are iron meteorites, which come from the iron-rich cores of asteroids. They also contain nickel and small amounts of other metallic elements. The most unusual of the main types are the stony irons, which come from the core mantle boundary of asteroids. Hunting your own meteorites is fun but challenging unless you're very experienced. You can buy meteorites from a wide variety of reputable dealers, however. Some are as cheap as $5 each and others extremely rare types that are worth many thousands of dollars each. Let me show you some of my favorites that will illustrate the many types of space rocks. Meteorites are named for the places where they fall. This Canyon Diablo is a piece of the iron nickel meteorite that struck 50,000 years ago and made Meteor Crater in Arizona. This iron, Chinga, is from Russia and when sliced and polished appears almost like a mirror. Another iron, Gibeon, from Namibia, when cut and etched, shows a peculiar pattern. This crystallization, called the Wiedmannstatten pattern, occurs due to the slow cooling of the metal over long periods. Another Russian iron, Sikotaline, often shows amazing shapes caused by the meteorite's heating as it tumbles through Earth's atmosphere. The iron Campo del Cielo fell in Argentina 5,000 years ago, and more than 100,000 kilograms have been recovered. A beautiful type of stony iron is called a palisite, and it contains not only iron nickel, but inclusions of forsterite, a mineral often used in the jewelry trade as the gemstone peridot. This is a piece of the Eskel meteorite from Argentina. Another palisite, a piece of Brahim, which fell in Belarus in 1810. Another stony iron meteorite is Vaca Muerta, which fell in the Chilean desert and was found in 1861. You can also collect earth material that's been impacted by a meteorite. This tektite from China is natural glass fused by the energy of a meteorite strike some 780,000 years ago. Similarly, Libyan desert glass is silica fused by the high temperatures of a meteorite strike about 26 million years ago. Further, Moldavites from Moravia and the Czech Republic are greenish, iron-rich glass pieces formed by a meteorite impact nearly 15 million years ago in nearby Bavaria. Trust me, there's nothing quite like holding a piece of another world in the palm of your hand. I'll see you next time on The Real Reality Show.